Hello, Fallout fans. How's it going? Uh, this is uh, Nuka Mage here. I'm um, shooting a quick video for uh, Fallout 4 Creation Kit. Uh, this is for basics, so it's a 101. Um, just to kind of keep catch up to speed on how to make mods. Um, I promise myself I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes this time. Normally I do like 23 minute videos and it's just terrible. So, uh, first things first, you got to get the Bethesda launcher. Obviously, you probably have already done this, but go to Bethesda.com, find the uh, Bethesda launcher, download it, and then... Uh, install it. This will come up. And you go to creation, find creation kit. Uh, it's like the only one thing here. This button here should say install. Once it's installed, good to go. It'll say run or play or whichever. Hit that, and this will pop up. Well, this will pop up. Uh, it'll pop up all you know messed up like that. Uh, so uh, this is kind of a layout I like. I'm gonna explain what these windows are uh, pretty much uh, right away. Uh, but first things first, you gotta hit uh, file data because you're starting fresh. Uh, Fallout 4, you're going to want to make sure that's ticked. Uh, you don't need anything else ticked unless you're going to make direct changes to um, uh, other mods or uh, DLCs. I would suggest just, just always do vanilla. It's easier that way. Um, if you do make a mod and then it's time for you to re-edit it, you got to hit uh, uh, pick it, and hit set active. Uh, Buttsworth, I'll explain that later. Uh, it's, it is a terrible mod. That's why I put it there. Uh, we're going to load into that for right now. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to go Fallout 4. Uh, you hit OK, and it takes a little bit. And then once it's done, oops, sorry, once it's done, it gives you a whole bunch of errors. Uh, oh, like right here, warnings. It gives you a whole bunch of warnings. Just clear it. Uh, that'll pop up a lot. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, the first window is the object window. This is kind of like a library. Uh, pretty much anything that exists in the game is here. Uh, consider creation kit like a board game uh, these are all the pieces and down here this is the board or boards plural um, so uh, f first of all we're gonna uh, find an actor um, gonna go for Codsworth real quick so there's Codsworth gonna open him up uh, double click of course um, anything that says MQ stay away from that means main quest. If you start making changes to these, you're going to have all sorts of problems later on in the game. Other users are going to have problems with it. Just just never mess with anything that says MQ on it unless you know exactly what you're doing. So again, see, warnings pop up a lot. So here we go. There's Codsworth right there. Um, if I change his name here, it's going to change his name here and there. So uh, we'll go with, uh, yeah, Budsworth. Yeah, I'm, I'm classy. The fourth. So there we go. So now, any uh, changes I make here will make changes to every Codsworth in the game, but there happens to only be one Codsworth in the game. Um, man, that's just how that is. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So uh, I've loaded everything in here. I've made one change. I'm going to save the mods. So you hit save, and it's going to say, what do you want to call it? It's going to go straight to the Steam folder, uh, if you get it from Steam anyway. Um, and the Buttsworth mod, there it is. Uh, I've already made it, but I'm going to remake it. There we go. So, see, as you can see, it's worth. So, now I know that's the mod I'm working on. Um, uh, da, da, da. So, if you wanted to make changes to, like, weapons or armor, that's all here in the library. Um, pretty much anything in the library is real touchy. So, if you change one thing here, man, you're going to change a lot of stuff. Let me give you an example here. Uh, laser. Go with the laser gun. So, here's the laser gun. If I make any changes to this laser gun, yeah, warnings are annoying. I don't know how to change that yet. Um, all 24 users that use laser guns will have this updated laser. Even though I've only made one change, every laser gun in the game on these 24, and it's a base model, so any of them in the game, this one change, if I make that thing weigh 1,000 pounds, every one of them in the game is going to weigh 1,000 pounds. So keep that in mind. Uh, for right now, we're not going to do that. Now, if you want to make a specific change, that's fine. But you duplicate. That's what you do. See, laser gun duplicate. Uh, a great way to go about keeping things in order for yourself is prefixing. So, I'm going to call this the butt mod for, but, for butt's worth, <laughs> for short, and uh, laser gun. So, there's the gun. We're going to call this super awesome crap. Ooh, laser couple exclamation points to show that I'm serious. And there we go. And we're going to make it, uh, uh, ah, whatever. We'll make it weigh, we'll make it weigh 50 pounds. That's just something to, 
to make a change so you can see it happen in game. So hit OK. The old laser copy have changed form IDs. You want to create a new form? No. New form would make another copy. So we'll hit no because it's good. Are you sure? Yes, there we go. So butt mod. So now anytime I need to make a change, I can go butt mod. I can type butt mod. Ooh, actually spell it correctly, it'd be easier. So any any and all changes they make, butt mod will whoops will make it come up and that's uh, it's a much easier way to do things. Okay, so of course you'll see an asterisk up here, meaning you gotta make changes. I suggest making saves all the time. Save as much as you can. Uh, this in Skyrim used to crash all the time. I don't know if it's going to crash on this because it's 64-bit, but hey, that's a good habit to have. Just save, save, save. Okay, so uh, I made a change to a laser. We made a change to an actor. Uh, of course, actors are NPCs. Uh, perks are going to be a little different. That's going to be, yeah, see all the actual perks in the game. Cannibal, so on and so forth. They'll all be found here. Uh, I'm going to get into, I'm going to make another video about that later. This is just a basic. So that's the object window. It's like the library. And the library has books. And inside each book has pages. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. Um, so yeah, the library, book, pages. So here's the pages. Each book has pages. And you go through the pages to change everything about, about that. That's just a way of thinking of it. Okay, so that's the object window. Now we got the cell view, which is like the board of the game. So these were the pieces. Now here's the board. Uh, you got your interiors, which are everything inside. So if you open a door and you load into a zone, you're loading into an interior. So that you can find all the interiors right here. Um, case in point, cabinet house, Bunker Hill interior. Uh, that'd be the basement. Um, Cambridge, uh, yeah, Fort, Fort Hagen, blah, blah, blah. That's interiors. Uh, world space, you're going to... Commonwealth is the giant out world, outside world that you play in. That's the Commonwealth. You're going to see tons of wilderness over here. Uh, because this is basically the board, and this is the interior of the board. So, uh, case in point, let's just go with... Um, I guess Abernathy Farm is going to have to do... No, no, no. Let's go. Let's find Sanctuary real quick. Ooh, ooh, real quick, because there's so much wilderness out in that game. There we go. Sanctuary exterior. So if you're used to console commanding in the game, COC uh, space uh, sanctuary exterior, that's how you warp or teleport in the game through the console commands, because you're 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 COCing to these cells, these individual cells here. So right now, we're gonna go. I know I'm going through this really fast. You'll probably want to watch the video a couple times if you have to. And the more ch changes you make in the game, the more it makes sense. Okay, so here's here's your house. Um, I just know where it is. Yeah, see? Broken house. There's the workbench. Your house. And there's Codsworth right there. So let's move on down. First things first, we're going to drop that crap-ass weapon that we made. So, but... Mod. There it is. So, boom. There it is. So now in the game, when you walk up to this item, well, the item will be here. So if you press Z, you can go up. You can go up and down. If you press F, it'll snap to the floor. If you hold Shift, you'll uh, uh, be able to rotate and move the camera. Well, through the axis anyway. If you hold Spacebar, you drag the map left to right. And down. So if you select an object like Codsworth and you hold shift, you'll rotate around Codsworth. If I do the house, I'll rotate over the house. Uh, of course, mouse wheel in and out. That works just fine. Um, so there's the gun. There's Codsworth. Now I'm going to show you one thing that's very important here. There's Codsworth. I made a change to Codsworth. So if I threw a second Codsworth out there, he's going to be Codsworth, and he's going to be Codsworth. They're both the exact same. If I make any change to this Codsworth, which we're going to do right now, yeah, this video ain't going to be 10 minutes, but too bad. Let's see, let's say I'm going to call him the second. And I've only changed him, right? No. If you go into this Codsworth... He was Codsworth, well, Buttsworth the fourth. Uh, uh, and now you're going to see he's the second, so it changed. So that doesn't work. You can't just uh, 
You can't just change something here. You can't change something here and expect it to change here. Well, it does, but as you can see, there's that's they're they're copies. They're copies of this one book. There's two books, but it's the same book. If that makes sense. So we're gonna get rid of Codsworth. Gonna hit duplicate. See now there's a copy of Doug Codsworth. We're gonna open him up. And the fourth, well, we're going to call him the second, Buttsworth the second. Drop him down. We're going to put him in. Now we have two individual copies. Same goes with guns, armor, all that stuff. If you want to make something different, you got to make a different one in here. Yeah, in here. So that's pretty much that. So we'll hit save. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to see these changes in game. I know it was really, really fast. Sorry. Like I said, just trying to keep it short. People have short attention spans these days. So let's hop into game. I'll hit save. We'll hop into game and uh, we'll see the rest. All right. <clears throat> so here we are in game um, to find your mods. There they are, mods. Let's go ahead and hit it. Uh, this is all beta. So how it works is, you know, you hit mods, you go through here. Um, you'll notice when you hit mods, there'll be that comes up and then it'll ask you to, to log in. Blah blah blah. That's pretty straightforward. So we already made our own mod. So you go to, you can actually look at load order down there, hit Y. I use a gamepad, don't judge me. Uh, and there's the mod we made. So we want to hit A for enable or whatever it is with the keyboard. Once that's check mark, you hit back, hit back again. And now uh, it's, the load order is important later on. I don't know what Bethesda's going to do, because normally we used to use other add-ons like loot or um, or boss, mod, boss mods to like change the, the order. Um, or Nexus mods, people still use that a lot. Um, I don't know how that's going to work with Bethesda trying to take over it on their own, but there you go. So that's so once those are in there, you can either you know start new, uh, or in my case, I'm going to go ahead and load an old save. I'm probably going to brag a little bit here. It's, it's what I do. <laughs> uh, I did that wasteland whatever that is the workshop so I got a door under there you run into and I got turrets up there it's kind of like a gladiator pit so I'm gonna close the door shut my turrets off and let the battle begin I'm gonna tell you fuck <laughs> pretty sweet right so they'll fight and kill each other blah 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 turn my defenses on when I get pissed off and I'm tired that. that was a ghoul. <laughs> Sweet. Fight or die! This is an awesome addition. I love this. Don't decontaminate yourself. Anyway. I'm wasting time. I don't know what kind of mods I'm going to make. I made a lot of them in Skyrim. Like, uh, I made um, Jedi of Skyrim. I made... Um, the oh the mobile was no treasure chest home I made a lot of great mods but this game with with settlements you got all the game uh, all the places you need with workshops you can update your weapons all you want you know it's just it's amazing all right so there you go there's a gun you made super awesome crap laser pick that thing up should weigh what like 50 pounds something like that and yep no wait 66.2 pounds um, okay well didn't quite get that working right but that's a heavy pistol. And there's our two Cosworths. So Buttsworth. You got Buttsworth the second, Buttsworth the fourth. Good day to you. Sir. See, something's weird about this guy. Good you can't really talk you. to him. Hey, Cosworth. But at least you, you say things to him. Garden, I'm not exactly sure what causes that, that issue. I don't really care. I'm just showing you some basics here. So there you go. Um, that's how you, you add... That's how you add a weapon. We uh, armors work the same way. You'll just go in, you'll, you'll change the stats, do whatever you need. You'll drop them wherever you want in the game. Um, I'm going to make a mod uh, back here because I'm going to make a little bomb shelter because I, I like to think my uh, the Wasteland Wanderer was a, or the Survivor is a uh, is crazy and he has a bomb shelter that he built his own before uh, Vault Tech got him into the big one. So that way you have better starter. 
weapons and ammo and stuff for the survivor mode that's uh, coming out or came out or whatever. Anyway, everything's still in beta as far as I know. So there you go. I hope that's a quick explanation of how it all works. Um, or at least just some quick, quick basics. Uh, look out for more videos coming up. I'll be showing you how to probably make uh, make NPCs. I could probably teach you how to or make a video on how to voice your own. I made my own for Skyrim um, called Alberger's Follower Mod. Um, I changed my name. I was Alberger's. Now I'm uh, I'm Nuka, Nuka Mage for you know Fallout and all that. So have a good one. I hope you enjoy and uh, please subscribe. Appreciate it.